Greetings, critical viewers, and welcome back to King's Quest VI. We just returned from the Realm of the Dead, aka the Underworld, and now it's time to get up to some other tricks. The first trick I shall perform is giving Sing Sing here the White Rose. This thing. Thanks. Alexander holds out the rose, hoping that the bird will deliver it to Cosima. The nightingale takes the rose and heads for the castle once more. A white rose, how beautiful! It must be from Alexander. How I wish that I could see him with my own eyes, but Abdul will never allow it. He only risks capture by sending me these things, dear to my heart though they are. Fly elsewhere, my pretty friend. Do not endanger Prince Alexander again by taking tokens from his hand. Forgive me, Alexander, and forget me. I cannot return your love for fear that I shall never leave this castle again. Well, that's depressing. Alexander waits in vain for Cosima's nightingale to return, but the bird does not. Could there be something wrong? Or does Cosima simply not welcome his attentions further? Damn it. All right, let's go into town now. Oh, look who's back. It's our old friend, the lamp salesman. Hmm. Looks like we have an old lamp right here. Or a new lamp, I should say. Excuse Wait, me, Peddler, this is an old lamp. But I have an old lamp that might interest you. Ah, an old lamp. And what a nice traditional design, too. Take your pick of my new lamps. All right, so this is very important. You have to pick the right one. And they showed it in one cutscene. If you, uh... Paid attention it is this tall blue skinny one right here and if you don't pick this lamp well you can't do a certain thing later in the game so here we go ah, a fine choice my son here is your new lamp good day and I thank you sir good day Another dud. <laughs> He's so impatient. He gets like 10 feet away and he already has to rub one out, so to speak. Alright, uh... Let's get in here. Good day, Prince Alexander. Look who's back. A mysterious old man also patronizes the pawn shop. Alright, nothing new to say. That's alright. So now, we're actually going to exchange the tinderbox, finally, for the fourth and final item from the pawn shop, the paintbrush. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex, please, choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. Hmm... I think I'd like the painter's brush. Very good, Prince Alex. The painter's brush it is. May your painting go well. Feel free to bring back the brush at any time. Thank you. What a swell guy this pawn shop owner is. I tell ya. One in a million. Alexander is carrying a clean but well-used painter's brush. The paintbrush bristles have softened to a perfect consistency after much hard use. Perfect, thanks. Alexander has obtained a new lamp made of blue-colored glass with a tall, thin neck and a cork-like cap. Alexander rubs the new lamp, but nothing happens. Aw, oh, man. All right, so this is kind of a weird sequence, but we have to do this to get full points. We're gonna die. 
Alexander suddenly gets a very sneaky idea. I can't go on anymore. Without Kasima, I'd just rather not live. Prince Alex, no! It's true! The Wazir has beaten me. I give up! Poison is my last resort. Stop! I am... no... more. Oh, what a waste. The poor young fool. He's dead, he's dead. Wait until Abdul hears. He'll be so pleased. A spry old man. I told you not to pop in like that. You can learn to knock like everybody else. Sorry, Master. I couldn't help myself. I have great news. Well, what is it? Prince Alexander is dead! He killed himself in despair over losing Cosima. <laughs> what? Are you positive? That young man has proven to be most devious. I saw the whole thing myself, Master. He was really and truly quite dead. <laughs> hmm. If what you say is true, it shall be most convenient. You've spent enough time on that little irritant. We must start thinking about the wedding. Anything, Master. Oh, I do love weddings. Well, we do want you to look your prettiest, don't we? Now, Shamir Shamazel, to the lamp with you. Prepare yourself as we discussed. Alexander's heart lurches to life in his chest. Prince Alex! But you... you were... Sorry, friend. I was doing a little acting, I'm afraid. Ah, of course. The strange cloaked man. You are quite clever. And a bit too exciting for an old man. <laughs> are you talking about you? Okay, so uh, we had to do that. To uh, get rid of that pesky genie. And now. Okay, Jalo should be in here. If he's not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's go. No! Hello! Damn it, he's not in here! Now, what can I do for you? No, you can't do anything, freaking Scooby Doo. Duh! Okay, wait. Damn it, is that it? I could have sworn that... Maybe... Maybe I don't see Jalo again. I think last time I saw him, he said like, Oh, I'm not gonna see you anymore. Something like that. Oh, fuck! I just realized something. Oh, I just realized... I'm an idiot! God, I'm stupid! I never got any River sticks water! Ah! Oh no! I gotta go back and do that! Yeah, River Sticks water! I never got it! In the teacup! Ah, okay. See you guys in a second. Alright, here we go. Alexander scoops a little of the River Sticks into the teacup with the swamp ooze being careful not to get any of the black water on his skin. And yet it's in your pocket. Okay, so we forgot to do that, but now we have it, and I'm gonna play through the rest of it well, to catch up. Chairman. See you guys in a second. <coughs> All right, we're back, and uh, I now have River Styx water in the teacup with the swamp ooze. The little china teacup is made of fine porcelain. The teacup contains swamp ooze and water from the river Styx. Thank God. So that's another way that you can get stuck, actually, is um, failing to get 
the river Styx water, uh, or the ghost handkerchief, because without them, you won't be able to complete the game should you choose the long path. We actually, right after we got the maiden's clothes, uh, from the beast, from Beauty and the Beast sequence or whatever, we could actually go into the castle at that point. All you have to do, if you want to take the short path to the game's ending, is um, you'll come up to the castle and there'll be a parade of uh, maidens entering for the wedding. You just go into this little uh, closet right here, so to speak, and you put on the maiden's clothes and you sneak into the line and you get into the castle that way. But we're gonna do something a little bit more exciting. Come on, Alexander. Alexander, go! We're gonna do something a little sneakier. Let's go ahead and mix in the black feather with the teacup. Alexander dips the large black feather into the teacup and stirs the contents gently. To his amazement, the jet black color of the feather slowly drains from end to tip into the teacup. The teacup mixture blackens and thickens to a paint-like consistency. Alexander carefully puts it away, discarding the drained feather. Ooh, looks like we've got some magic paint. So let's go ahead. To paint something, Alexander must first choose a location where he wants to paint. The paint can then be used on that location. Eh? Okay. Let's choose this location. Feeling artistically inspired, Alexander decides to make use of the large blank castle wall. Ah, a doorway. Just what Alexander was thinking this wall needed. Did any of you guys read those children children's books like Harold in the Purple Brush or something like that? That's what this reminds me of. A painted door graces the castle wall. Yep, too bad it is completely useless without the spell. So let's do it. Magic paint spell. Let's go. With trepidation. Alexander gathers his strength for the enchantment of the painted door. Magic paint, black as ink. Bring to life what I think. Make it real what I draw, according to this spoken law. The spell worked. The door has magically solidified. Not sure why you got to read that instead of Alexander, but we'll take it. A very real looking door now exists in the castle wall. Whew, let's do this. Eager to be inside the castle at last, Alexander opens the enchanted door. More like he's eager to be inside Casima. steps inside. The magic paint door fades back into the wall. So much for an easy exit. Holy crap, this place is terrifying. <sighs> let's go ahead and save. And we'll look around. The ceilings in the castle are vaulted and formal, giving the halls a lofty elegance. Three dungeon doors line the east wall of the hallway. Ah, crap. There's a strange door on the west wall. There doesn't appear to be any handle or keyhole on the door. So this is... this part's tough because... I mean, I got to this part so infrequently that I don't actually remember a whole lot about it. So this next few parts might be a little hit or miss, but I'll try to get through it as painlessly as possible. Alexander opens the dungeon door and slips inside. Yes! Mother? Mother, where are you? All right, this stupid kid, if you don't get the handkerchief to give to him, he won't even, ugh, it's so infuriating. All right. What's the matter, little boy? I'm lost. I can't find my mother. 
don't know why she would just leave me here. I've been alone ever so long. Mother? Mother, where are you? God, I cannot tell you how many times I've been infuriated at this exact spot because I didn't have this item. But thankfully not this time. Here you go, kid. You must be the son of the spirit I met in the realm of the dead. She gave me this handkerchief and asked me to tell you that she's waiting for you there. It's Mama's! It even smells like her. I can feel her now. I know where to go. Wait. Before you go, is there anything you can tell me about the castle? I like to play in secret places. In the basement behind the Man of Steel is a door. Nobody except me knows it's there anymore. Oh, God. Farewell. And if you don't do that, you'll never get to that room that he's talking about. Oh, so infuriating. Okay. I think anyone else who's who who played this game before game facts and stuff knows the pain. We didn't have let's plays back in 1995 or 1992 or whenever you played this game if you played it. All right, we got to go find Jalo. First things first. The castle basement is cool after the heat of the day. On the east wall is a door. And on the west wall, a staircase leads upward. This is the east basement hallway. Thank you very much. We do not want to go up there. Let's go. Go, go, go. Alexander decides to find out what's on the other side of that door. It's Jallo! Prince Alexander, I can't believe it! How did you get into the castle? Well, I... Actually, it's a little hard to explain. I bet. <laughs> you run the terrible risk of being here, though. The castle is crawling with guard dogs, especially today. The Wazir will have your hide if he finds you. I know that, Jallo. But Kasima is being married today. What greater risk is there than that? Of course you're right. Young love, <laughs> I forgot what heartburn it is. But what are you supposed to do about it? I've got to try to see her. Maybe even stop the wedding. Is that all? And here I thought you would try something dangerous. <sighs> Don't worry about me, friend. Just tell me, where is Kasima? As far as I know, she's still in her bedroom upstairs. You'd never make it up there, though. The guard dogs are everywhere. And they're very loyal to the crown. Unfortunately, right now the crown means El Hazred. If we had proof of something truly afoul, the guard dogs might listen. As it is, they're your enemies, not his. I understand. I've had no lack of enemies since I got here. In fact, you'd almost think I wasn't welcome. <laughs> and they say princes have no sense of humor. <laughs> Well, I can see there's no putting you off. For Kasima's sake, I wish you luck. I'll be here if there's anything you need. Thanks, Jalo. I actually do have some things that you need, or rather, I need to give you. Is there anything else you can do that will help me in the castle? I'm afraid not, Prince Alex. One will get past the guard dogs easier than two. Besides, I'm not much of a fighter. <laughs> but if you intend to do as you've said, you should lose no time about it. The wedding will be starting before you know it. Indeed. Jallo occupies himself with his writing, but the frown on his brow indicates his anxiety about the fate of his beloved princess. Mm. A plain trunk provides minimal storage for the bedroom. Let's open it. Alexander doesn't want to intrude on Jallo's privacy by looking through his trunk. Come on, Alexander, where's your sense of adventure? 
Let's throw his stuff off the desk. Alexander respects Jello's privacy and leaves his desk alone. Oh. Please stop, Prince Alex. <laughs> I'm really ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> so he respects his privacy <laughs> when it comes to his desk, but he'll he'll tickle him. That is really funny. The comfortable looking bed in the corner is neatly arranged. It looks just large enough for Jallo's generous size. Oh, are you calling him portly? How, uh, how rude of you. Okay, check out the fireplace. A cozy little fire is ablaze in Jallo's fireplace. The wall above Jallo's desk sports a notice of a circus. It seems very old. Yeah, he was probably he probably used to be a clown in the circus. All right, so we've got a couple things that we need to give him. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we give him this this letter now. I have something you might be interested in. I'm afraid I wouldn't know what to do with that, Prince Alex. Sorry. Oh come on! It's proof of his treachery or whatever, isn't it? I know I can give him the lamp though. I've been thinking of what you said about swapping a replica for the genie's lamp. I got this lamp from the old lamp seller in town. Do you think it will pass? Why, yes! It's an exact replica! That's amazing! How did you guess? I suppose it was intuition. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have to wait for the right moment, mind you. But I should be able to get close enough to swap this for the real thing. And none shall be the wiser. Now you shall see Jallo's skill. I'm sure your hands are mightier than my sword, my clever friend. <laughs> Go ahead and do as you've planned, and let me worry about swapping the lamp. If I accomplish the trickery, I'll manage to get the lamp to you somehow. You never fear. I have faith, Jolo. You are a true friend. Oh shucks. I'd do anything for the princess. <laughs> no, where are you going? Come on, buddy. We got stuff to do? Okay. I'll go too. Wait, look at his desk. Jallo keeps his desk neat and tidy. You don't want to snoop, see what he's writing about? Alright. Okay, go. Ah, oh, shit. I'm really paranoid about this, because guard dogs do patrol these hallways. In the corner is a suit of armor of ancient design. Its right arm beckons slightly. A closed door on the north wall bears a small brass plaque. The plaque reads, Guard Room. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. <laughs> Remembering what the little boy ghost said, Alexander experiments with the suit of armor. He pushes down, then pulls up on the knight's right arm. A secret passage. Go inside quick! 